So my family are quite rugby oriented, so when I was younger, about five years old, uh, they took me down to the local team, which was Northern Sharks. Played for them till I was about 11. Moved to West Hull. Played for them till I was 16 and got picked up by the scholarship here, and then been here ever since. Could be a try, it is a try, and it's Jordan. Uh, I'd probably say my granddad. Obviously my, grand my granddad played when he was younger. He's quite big on rugby, so he never really made it big, like professional or anything, but uh, he used to set me on park and stuff to practice certain things, and. You know, I sort of like want to repay him back by getting to where I am. My girlfriend's uh, family's all Rovers fans, so I get a bit of stick off them. So, girlfriend's dad always says to me, I hope you play well, but just drop the ball a few times and stuff like that. So, now nah, we have a bit of banter between us. Being from all, it's the biggest game, and it's the one I want to be involved in. Obviously, last year there was Matt Minicello and Seeker Mano all playing the same position as me, and they've been to the top of the game, so I look up to them. People here now like Gareth Ellis, you know, he's been and done it all. Uh, we've got people like Danny Alwyn, he's a, you know, he's a leader. You, you don't go and make him 50, 60 tackles a game from out there, so, you know, he's, he's a freak. Also my debut at Leeds away, so that was a big, big time for me, you know. Just to get on the field was a dream come true sort of thing. Saints away, scored my first try, that was a big one. And then I played in the Challenge Cup against Warrington. And I only played 20 minutes, but you know, still playing in a game like that, it was massive. <laughs> nah, he's a good bloke, he knows what he's doing. Uh, I'd probably say they'll get on the wrong side of him, you know. He can, uh, when, we, when the boys are training very well, you know, he kicks off, goes in assault, but nah, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah, when, when we're on Sky and say if we concede a try or something, and then the, the camera goes on him, he's never looking too happy, so uh, I reckon people who don't know him have the wrong idea of him. Yeah, well, we got to the the last few games, and I think we needed, only need to win one game, and we'd have been top eight. But uh, I think we, we sort of bottled it, so to say. We, you know, we uh, we couldn't string the performances together. Uh, like I said, we only needed one or two wins, and we couldn't get them. It was like that for the past one or two years. You know, we, we've been short of consistency. You know, we haven't really found any. So well, we're hoping to do that this year. With the pack we've got, with, with the wingers, with the, you know the full team that we've got. We've, on paper, our team's probably one of the best in the competition. You know, and on our day, we can beat anyone. You know, spend time with family, uh, girlfriend, and stuff, and then obviously see all my mates. You know, I'm a football fan, Liverpool fan, throughout there. Wow. <laughs> Saints haven't recruited anyone, and everyone wants to beat Saints because of the season they had. You know, so I mean, I'd love to get one over on them. Uh, Wigan. You know, they've got a few signings and then we've got all the young boys as well, so that's probably one I'm looking forward to as well. I want to nail down a starting spot in the back row in the next few years, hopefully, and then uh, anything that comes after that is a bonus. Obviously, I want to do that now. Obviously, international or stuff like that, they come later on, but I'm looking to get the starting spot here. Yeah.